Welcome to the City Council Recap for the study session on October 6, 2020. All City Council members were in attendance. Four members of the public spoke during first call public invited to be heard. One of those members of the public currently lives in a recreational vehicle, which will be impacted by an ordinance appearing later in the meeting, who expressed concern about the ordinance. The caller also mentioned the relationship between Section 8 housing discrimination and the rate of homelessness, and therefore the necessity for some people to live in non-traditional arrangements. A second caller, who said she was a longtime Longmont resident, expressed concern about the rising cost of living and said that the cost was forcing her to leave town. Based on that, she said city council members should act with empathy for those living in recreational vehicles during a time of economic distress. City manager Harold Dominguez provided his weekly update on the COVID-19 pandemic. He said that the recent spike in cases in Boulder County was primarily affiliated with the University of Colorado Boulder, but did not appear to have impacted non-university affiliated people. That was reflected in the ages of the people who were infected, who were primarily in the college age group. Longmont's infection rate, normalized with the population, was on par with Lafayette and Louisville. In conversations with Boulder County Public Health, City Manager Dominguez emphasized that Boulder County was doing much better than other counties in the state and con that continued diligence would ensure this. He repeated the advice to wear a mask, be socially distant, and wash your hands. Dominguez emphasized that keeping the COVID infection rate down was important to perfect, protect the lives and health of local people in addition to the local economy. With respect to Halloween, Dominguez recommended that to ensure safety, people planning to dress up need to wear cloth masks under their costume masks. The Colorado Department of Public Health has issued guidelines for Halloween at their COVID-19 webpage, covid19.colorado.gov slash Halloween tips and tricks. Council Member Christensen expressed concern at the racial disparity of infection and death rates for COVID-19 in Longmont and how the disease has impacted Latinx and Black people living here. She asked members of the public to be cognizant with how they interact with members of the service industry and that those people who are not at high risk, either because of their race or because of their wealth, should not downplay the risks of COVID-19. Council Member Tim Waters asked a question about the use of public service announcements to promote safe behavior from members of the public. Assistant Manager Sandy Cedars said that the PSAs which had been filmed would be run by the partners of the city on the social media. City Manager Dominguez mentioned that the PSAs were actually being driven by the business community in order to ensure that businesses could stay open. Waters expressed concern about the slow pace of the rollout as it, rollout as it had taken four months for the city to make any progress. City Manager Dominguez informed City Council members that there would be an executive session next week to prepare for the meeting on the 20th of October to discuss the Longmont Housing Authority, which would like to host a joint meeting with City Council. City Council, member agree City Council members agreed to delay reports on waste services and inclusionary housing in order to ensure there would be enough time on the agenda. The 2021 budget presentation was next. City Chief Financial Officer Jim Golden prepared a presentation to respond to questions from City Council members from previous meetings which had been discussed, which had discussed the upcoming City Budget. With respect to the Public Library, Golden shared a few sources of additional funding which would be allocated to the Library to protect Library services, including grants, pre-allocated public improvement funds, and some money from endowments which are managed by the Library Board. An additional $37,500 was allocated to the library in order to provide additional digital resources for adults and children. Community Services Director Karen Roney outlined three goals set by the City Council at previous meetings. The first was drafting an ordinance prohibiting RVs from parking permanently on public streets. The second was to find alternatives or resources for those living in RVs. The final directive was to inquire about a specific property owned by the county as to whether that could be a space set aside for people living in their RVs. In response to inquiries, the property in question is not available for use. Several options were explored within city limits, to in including privately owned lots, which are full to capacity already and therefore do not have additional space. The wastewater disposal facility at the RV campground at the fairgrounds could be made available for disposing of wastewater and City Council could facilitate access in collaboration with the county. Roney suggested that if Council does pass an ordinance banning the parking of RVs on public land, there would be a delay in the effective date in order to allow staff to make outreach to affected people to alert them to the changing rules and set up entry points for the coordinated entry system. Council Member Marcia Martin made a motion, which was passed by Council, to direct staff to negotiate with the county to enable access for dumping of wastewater for people living in their RVs at the Boulder County Fairgrounds beginning on January 1st. The council also voted to suspend the prohibition on the development of RV lots in Longmont, 
if the ordinance prohibiting the parking of RVs on public streets were to pass at a future meeting. Code Enforcement Supervisor Shannon Stadler and Police Chief Jeff Sider gave a presentation on an ordinance drafted by city staff prohibiting people from living in RVs or other similar sleeper vehicles on public streets. Council members went to great pains to ensure that only living in a vehicle would be only living in a vehicle would be criminalized as opposed to RV storage on city streets by landowning residents or vehicles used for construction. The topic ended with city council directing staff to finalize drafting of the ordinance and prepare it for a first reading, this first step in making it a law. Mayor Brian Bagley made a statement in remembrance of Matthew Shepard, a student at the University of Wyoming who was beaten to death because he was gay on October 12, 1998. Mayor Bagley implored the, implored the public to stay civil and remember our mutual bonds of humanity with the upcoming election. Council member Susie Hidalgo Faring made a statement reminding residents to treat public school teachers with kindness as they attempt to cope with the challenges of teaching students during the pandemic.